Yo, what is up? I gotta record this quick because I'm already running late. I'm hella tired. I woke up like 30 minutes ago, but essentially today I'm going to be doing something crazy that like has been a bucket list item since I've started getting into reselling. I'm gonna be visiting a vintage warehouse stocked with vintage, stocked with bales and gaylords of random loose clothes, shirts, pants, everything. I got a closed invite to go to one with a homie and we're gonna get to pick through I think two bales or like two gaylords of clothes. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to take anything home, if I'm just gonna be helping him, but he offered for me to come along with him and make a video out of it. So let's see what happens and I'll show you guys as much as I'm allowed to show. I'm obviously not gonna show anything that gives away the location or talk anything about any of that. Let's go find out what's up with this place. He told me that my mind's gonna be blown, so I have high expectations, and I honestly just can't wait to like be there and see how operations like that work. So I'm gonna take you guys with me. So let's do it. So we actually already were at the bins this morning. We did a quick pit stop, so I got some stuff in the back. I might show you guys. I think we're about to go over there. We're taking lunch right now. There he is, the man, eating his Taco Bell. Taco time? Eating his taco time. This is literally just on the ground. It's right there. This place is insane. Just threw it like it's nothing. This is like a $30 shirt to me. This place is nuts. The Camp Sonics. Just all these jerseys. Who's this? Dude, holy. Bro. Just. Pippin. sick insane this is just in a gaylord just a giant gaylord of clothes jesus christ let see if i can find something in the box or This is nuts. I think this is all band tees. We're about to go through it. We're about to start digging and this is the first thing I pull out. Bro, I'm like mind blown right now. My friend had this one. This one is absolutely crazy. This share tee is nuts. Okay, quick story. This is one of the first tees that I ever thrifted when I was like 17. And I had it in my personal closet for years. I have no idea what happened to it, but this is a really sick one. AFI is a great punk band. And then this newfound glory shirt. So sick. What do you got? Baby fart? Baby fat? <laughs> Big niche and baby fat. Okay. Well, we went through all of this. better. Who is that? Oh, Jethro Tull. Does, he has the fiddle? What does he have? Mm -hmm. A pipe? Yeah, okay. No, not much better. I got some shit though. We're about to throw all this back in. <sighs> Crazy. <laughs> Damn. 
Oh, this tide is sick. 96. This might be a good one. Let's pull this one. You know people be cleaning their shirts. That's kind of dope. <laughs> Sensor. <laughs> Sick. Some like racing shirts all bundled together. Jamaica shirt. Another racing tee. That's a good one. Oh, that's a sick one. Throw that in a pile. It's racing. There's thousands in there were. It's so deep down in here. This is crazy. We got this absolute grail. What a movie too. This was shot in Astoria. Arnold Schwarzenegger, right? I yeah. think. Yeah. That's a crazy one. Absolute grail. It is a size small, but y'all. I didn't even notice it's like sparkly. This is crazy. That's a crazy one. That's uh, going home. That's a sick one. Nikki Unlimited tag. We're digging through all of this. For the most part. I'm trying to. But yeah, we got a stack right now. Okay, Rashid just pulled this, and this shirt is literally me. I've been enlightened. More new light, silken tofu. This is a vintage tofu promo shirt. Made in USA, size large. This thing is, the colors, the fact that it's a tofu promo shirt, dude, come on. Got another really good one. Single dingle, size large, made in USA. 101 Dalmatians all over print. Front and back, has their paws and everything. Got the sick University of Huskies, tailgaters of the Taz going crazy. Yeah, and we're down in the bottom now, y'all. We're digging. Literally crouch right here. Got a Disneyland. Disneyland Mickey Mouse. It's pretty simple though. I don't think anyone would but literally crouch on top of all these clothes. This is a whole mound. Crazy. Crazy state of my life. That's a, that's a sick one, big beer. Ooh, that's sick. The more the merrier. In Saudi Arabia. <laughs> Bro. That's crazy. Here's the bottom. All of this, gone through all of this. Toss them back in. We got another good one because Stone Cold said so. Front and back print. This one is Stone Cold. Buy the shirt because Stone Cold said so. This one is crazy. It's kids, but I think it's like a kids XL. 
So if it's like a small medium, back is insane. Yeah, that's coming home with us. We got the Remember the Titans promo, and then we got this Mickey Mouse Club. So Mickey Mouse Club on this 80s size large. And then we got the Not In Our House Seattle Supersonics. I had this same shirt on black and I sold it for like 75 bucks recently. So crazy one. We're just pulling out some grills. All right, we got another grill. This Ozzy Osbourne with the bird, all sport size large, single stitch, the back print. This is crazy. I actually saw someone find this at Racks recently on Instagram and yeah, just chilling in here. There you go. Another banger. Couldn't even really tell what this was. So we flip it around. Got the Batman forever. Crazy back hit. Got Batman standing here. On a giant Holtex size XL. That's a keeper. All right, we got another grail. Pokemon, gotta catch them all. On a Pokemon tag, size Youth XL, made in USA, dated 1999, Nintendo. Yeah, I had one in an auction that was uh, kind of like this and it ran up a lot. So this is a really good one. Found it right down here, so. Another one. Got another one. Metallica. 94. Front and back. It's kind of thrashed, but so sick. Picked right out of there. Another crazy one. Eminem show. 2002, it's a nuts one. We're gonna see what would work the best for what we're doing. So let's go through it all. Just kidding, we have all of these too, Jesus. All right, y'all, I just got home after having probably the craziest day of my life. I'm literally, I literally can't talk right now. I'm like too excited. Like this literally feels like a dream. I'm gonna sit on my couch and go through what I got and talk about my experience a little bit more. It was a crazy day of digging and finding stuff. And this whole box is just full of really good stuff. I'm super excited to show you guys. I did get some personal stuff too. And I'm just gonna show you guys everything. Also, I forgot I totally went to the bins today and I'm gonna show you guys a few of my favorite pieces I got from bins before I jump into everything I got at the other place. So let's get into these ones. All right, I'm just gonna show you guys here in my garage before I go inside to do the other pieces. So here's some of the pieces I got at bins today that are worth noting. So I got this Polo Sport reversible jacket. So it's fleece on the inside, black fleece. And then on the inside, it is red. So red, like windbreaker material. And this was actually passed off to me from Rashid. So thank you Rashid for this one. I got this Paul Frank bucket hat. I think it might be kids. It didn't really fit my head, but this is gonna be a really good one for Depop. This like Paul Frank, it's like terry cloth. I need to soak it. But yeah, this is a really good one for Depop. This is probably the first thing I found today. It's a Levi's 501, 550, 560 long sleeve. And it says, wear them as you see fit. It's a long sleeve, made in USA, single stitch. The colors are super crazy. Really like that one. And then this Ken Griffey Jr. actually just looked it up. I kind of surprised me. So an XL in a large sold for around a hundred of this. I didn't think it was gonna be worth that much. This is a medium. It has some holes and everything, but still like a really good tee. I didn't think that was that good of a tee. So stoked to find that. And then the last one that's just kind of worth mentioning. This one's just kind of funny. It's like a quarterbacks. It says Santa Barbara quarterback receiver camp, but the back Klondike bar. It says, what would you do for a Klondike bar? I thought it was just kind of funny. That's like a quarterback receiver camp on the front and then the back is like an advertisement for Klondike ice cream bars and it's an 80s tee super soft and thin but those are like the best things I found today let's go inside and show you guys the insane stuff okay y'all so let's get into it I hope this angle is going to be okay I'm going to show you guys the personal things that I bought 
and then talk about the other pieces. They're not in any specific order. I'm just gonna kind of go through them and y'all yeah, just kind of give you a quick spiel about what happened. So as I said before, I got invited to this private pick at a private place and that's what I'm gonna leave it at. I'm not gonna give any more information. I was able to pick out some personal pieces and just kind of buy them wholesale. He gave me a really good deal on these pieces. I'm gonna show you that I got just for myself. Everything else is kind of on like a loan system. So I took like 25 pieces, I believe. I'm gonna be selling them on my Instagram. I'm gonna be auctioning them. And basically we kind of worked out a deal with that. So I technically didn't pay for any of the other stuff. We're just gonna kind of see how it does and work out a deal. But this is crazy. Honestly, like this was my dream to be able to have something like this happen and it kind of just fell into my lap. So I'm just gonna go through all my stuff I got and let's do it. So these one, two, three, four, five pieces are all personals. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you what I paid for them, but I, it was a pretty good price. Like he definitely hooked me up and I'll tell you what I think each of them are kind of worth, even though I'm keeping all of them, but let's get into it. This first shirt, I was so stoked when Rashid had found it. It's this, I've been enlightened and it's like a tofu promo shirt. I probably had a clip of it earlier in the video, but it's like a silken tofu. I actually don't really like silken tofu, but like the fact that it's like kind of a food snack tea, but it's tofu, I needed this. So this is definitely going to the personal collection. I think maybe this would be maybe worth like 20, 30 bucks depending, but yeah, really, really stoked to get that. Definitely going to the personal collection. I don't really have any like snack teas or food teas. I don't really care about them that much, but I do have a lot of vegan teas. So this is going into the vegan tea collection. This next one I think is a little bit too small for me, but it's just so sick. It's a swatch like long sleeve polo. I collect swatches. So I just kind of wanted it for the personal. I don't really know if I'm gonna wear it much. I felt like I could maybe pull off like a cool fit with it, but it's super cool. It's single stitch, it's definitely old, probably early 90s, 80s but Swatch is just like a watch brand and they make really cool, like colorful, interchangeable watches. So that's something that I used to be really into. And I saw this and I was like, dude, I want that. So I don't know if I had to sell it. I don't think vintage Swatch stuff goes for that much, but I'm not selling it. I'm gonna keep it. This is going into the personal. This is a Linkin Park 2001 tee. I only have one other Linkin Park shirt. Growing up, they were like one of my favorite bands ever. When I was in fourth grade, I was like, I'm gonna name my son Chester after Chester. Rest in peace, Chester. But they were like one of my favorite bands. This is on an M&O size extra large, just super basic front graphic. This has to go into the personal collection. Honestly, if I was to pay like retail for this tee, I feel like it's at least like 30 plus dollars, maybe more. So this guy is also gonna be a personal. This is a newfound glory tee. It's like a early 2000s XL on an anvil, like red bar blank awesome like a pop punk band uh kind of throwback with with this band like i don't listen to them a lot now but i used to listen to them a lot and it's just like the classic live shot i think this might actually be art for one of their albums or something but yeah super good band so had to pick it up for personal and then this is my favorite one i got for personal i actually already own this shirt but I needed to double up on it. And the overall price I got for these five items, it's totally worth it. This shirt is worth more than what I paid for the five items, I think. So this is a coal chamber shirt, uh, my favorite coal chamber shirt. I have the same one, size XL and a Delta blank, the little back hit. So yeah, like I said, I already have this one. So kind of doubling up on it. I might see if my roommate wants it. Uh, it might be a Christmas gift present, so we'll see. But yeah, this one shirt was worth getting all of them. So those are my personal pieces I picked up. Let's get into the crazy pieces that I picked out today with Rashid and they're going to be on my Instagram. Basically, these are pieces that are gonna be in live auctions that were kind of just loaned out to me to see how they do, as I explained before. So like I said, I didn't pay anything for these. These are just kind of on a loan system and there's some crazy stuff in here. So let's get to it. I'm just gonna pull them out as they come. So this first one we got is an all over print Star Trek tee, like the spaceship and the stars and everything. Front and back print, 25th anniversary. This is on a changes blank size of XL. Just so you know, none of these are gonna be for sale. Like if you wanted to buy this like right now as a buy it now, it's not gonna work, it's not gonna happen. 
Hit me up on my Instagram for anything else you guys ever see. Basically, all the things in this video are just gonna be like Instagram live auction things. So if you do want them, check my Instagram, check my story, see when I'm gonna be doing these live auctions. They've normally been on Mondays. So tap in to bid on them, but I'm not gonna be selling them outright. So you're just gonna have to bid on them in live auctions. And hey, this shirt might go for like 10, 20 bucks. Maybe no one bids on it. So you could get a steal, but yeah, I'm not gonna be accepting any offers on any of these tees, but here we go. Front and back print, single stitch, size XL, Star Trek T. There's the first one. What do we got here? We got a, this one is super sick. It says Budweiser. So it's like a Budweiser ripoff because Budweiser shirts have the frogs on them, but they're all smoking weed. Super sick. It's like a 90s one. But yeah, I just thought the graphic was really sick and I thought on auction it would kind of do pretty well because it's like a weed tee. So we got that one. This one is super sick. This is a Kindergarten Cop movie promo tee. A lot of these do need to be clean too, which I'm gonna be spending some time doing, but this is a Kindergarten Cop movie promo tee. I think this was early 90s when this came out and it has Arnold Schwarzenegger in it and it's set in Astoria, Oregon. And I've actually been to the elementary school where they filmed it before, but really good movie. I haven't looked up to see like if they're pretty common, I don't know, but I just knew it was a really good movie and I wanted to grab it because it's like a movie promo tee, so. Cool movie. We got a Marvin the Martian. This guy says Marvin the Martian Authentic Attitude 1997 Then has a big back hit on the back with the gun. Super, super sick. I'm gonna leave this one for last. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you already saw it, but I'm gonna put that one down there for last. Got another movie promo tee. This is really sick. This is a Remember the Titans, like maroon colored jersey. Super, super sick. Size large. It has the little licensing down there. Disney Enterprises. Great movie, like this is a really cool promo for it. Got some Mickey pieces. So this is a blue tag, so like 80s, early 90s. And this is a Mickey 60th. It's like Mickey through the years. He's like meeting old uh, Steamboat Willie and then it's new Mickey. And it's from 1988 actually, this one's dated 1988. So Disney pieces are doing really well right now. So pick that one up. This one is really cool too. This is a Mickey Mouse Club tee, but it's on the 80s. Disney blank, 80s, 90s Disney blank. I'm excited to see what the bids come in on this one like, but I sold a non-vintage one for I think like 25 or so. But yeah, I don't think you see much Mickey Mouse Club stuff. So that was really cool. We got another all over print. It's actually another Star Trek all over print. This one is on the gem tag, size large. This is a really good tag, gem tag. And this is, it says <laughs> Klingon Defense Force on the back. And then the front, I think it says something in Klingon. 1995, crazy all over print tee. So another Star Trek tee. This is a banger. We got the Made in USA, size large, 101 Dalmatians all over print tee. Front and back with like their little paw prints running back and forth on it. Super sick, single stitch, as I said. This is a really good one. Excited to see how this one will do. Another really cool, I mean, I keep saying another really cool one. These are all really cool. Like the pieces that were in that place were insane. But here's this Nikki, like pink striped. Honestly, like I want this for myself so bad, but I don't really wear like Disney or Mickey stuff. It's just not my lane. So I would never wear it, but it's still really cool. This is a very me shirt. It's like pink and white striped big mickey like in the heart and stuff it's on the mickey unlimited tag super super sick piece we got a oh yeah this is a batman t batman forever movie promo t on the giant by toltex blank size xl super faded but like the fade is super good on it that back hit is really crazy we got a the rock t size large has this on the front and then it has the rock hit on the back. Super cool. I keep saying super cool, but like y'all, all these tees were handpicked by me and Rashid and they were the best of the best. There's so much that we didn't even get to look at in the spot. So I can't even like imagine what else is gonna be in there, but hopefully it'll be back soon. But these are just for today. We did like three hours of digging and these are just the things that we thought would do really well. Next up, we got this. Eminem, the Eminem show dated 2002. Another really crazy one. Like this is such a sick one. Love it. We got a Pokemon. Gotta catch them all. Size Youth XL would definitely fit like a medium, like for sure would fit a medium. 
dated 1999, Youth XL, made in USA. Yeah, I sold a Youth XL Pokemon shirt on auction for like $150. So this one has all the final evolutions of the starter Pokemon and Pikachu, and it's black. The other one I sold was white. I think this one's gonna go crazy, honestly. We got this Jesus Tea. Jesus Teas has been doing super well for me, and like I just really thought this one was crazy. The graphic on the front and then the back. Like, I, there's some specific people that have been watching the lives that do like Jesus Teas, so I picked it up because I knew at least I think it'd go for like 30 bucks or so. Just kind of wanted to diversify and get some different things. Another all over print. We got this kiss tea psycho circus it's like a really long xl but it's this like purple marbled it's on a cronies blank size xl another nutty one this one found this one pulled this one we got the aussie osborne single stitch on an all sport size large front and back print the back print absolutely crazy such a crazy tee. The colors are super, super vibrant too. This is another tour tee. Oh yeah, I got this one more just because I really liked it personally, but this might be the coolest corn shirt I've ever seen. Please don't demonetize me. You can't see anything. It has the corn logo over her privates and she is stripping and it has their dates on the back. I'm gonna have to soak this one. Uh, 2002. It is a medium, but like this is probably one of the craziest quarantines I've ever seen. Got a few more in here. This one is a really good one. Share with like the orbs all on it. This is on a giant tag size XL. There's the giant tag front and back print. All right, one more. And then I'm going to show you the best tee that we got today. So the last tee is this Jimi Hendrix on a Winterland size XL. It's just him on the front with the guitar doing this crazy stuff. So just got some band tees to throw in there to see how they would do. And the best piece that I got today, it sucks that it is a size small, but it is an infamous genie tee from Aladdin. It is a adult small single stitch, has the hits on the sleeve here with the genie head and it is Licensed to Disney, single stitch, all that good stuff. It's kind of sparkly too. My homie Henry at Final Flame Vintage has had a few of these. I think he raffled one off for like 400. I want to say it was around that. Disney, Genie, you know, it's been going up, been going crazy prices. This is a size small, so I'm not expecting it to go that crazy but I do think it's at least over a hundred dollar tee for sure. And I've only had it on my Instagram for like an hour now. And I think it almost has 400 likes. So I think it's for sure gonna be like my most like picture that I've ever posted. But yeah, this was probably the find of the day. And with that, I'm gonna end the video, but like, honestly, probably one of the coolest days of my life, like in my career, if you wanna say that, of doing this, of reselling, of being in vintage, I've dreamed about being able to go to a spot that's kind of like more curated and where you kind of just get to pick a loan. And that's what it was like. And I really hope I'm able to do it again soon. If I do do it again soon, I'll totally make a video. The dude is super chill with me making videos as long as I'm just recording properly and everything. Hopefully more to come soon. Blow this video up for me. Seriously, guys, like, comment, subscribe, share, do whatever you gotta do. But like, this is so sick. I feel like there's probably not a lot of other videos on YouTube where someone gets to kind of pick through like a curated vintage warehouse essentially and like shows you crazy pieces so please if you aren't subscribed subscribe drop a like on the video and drop a comment follow my instagram loveless.vintage and i will see you guys in the next one peace out